What's going on guys, G-Funky Boxing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Brian Norman Jr. versus Rodrigo Correa. And this was actually a pretty interesting fight, man. Now, Norman Jr. gets the unanimous decision here. But it got interesting, man, in the middle rounds. Now, he came out and hurt Correa early. And it looked like it was going to be over within the first 30, 40 seconds of round one. Now, Rodrigo was able to survive... <laughs> by holding on um, and got out of that round. Now, I felt like round three was a close round, um, but I gave to Norman Jr. But the next three rounds in a row I gave to uh, Correa, I felt like Norman was either getting tired, punched himself out, maybe ring rust. You know, He's been out of the ring for over a year. Either way, he lost those rounds in my opinion. And then he comes back strong, closes out the show, and then he, he drops Correa in the last round with a left hook. And again, I always tell you guys that a left hook is a very underrated weapon against a southpaw. Um, and that's a punch that he landed and, and dropped him. Um, and then Correa got up and, you know, he, he punched back. He fought back hard. But it just was too much uh, to overcome. He needed a knockout to win. But he was tough, man. And you can't sleep on these guys from South America that they bring in for these young prospects. Um, you know, I, I really want to see how Norman Jr. adjusts to this because... This wasn't, um, I, 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 I could say this, this wasn't the type of fight that they anticipated, you know? Um, but, look, he gets the win, and again, we'll see how he comes back. So that's it for this one, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. This is G-Funky Boxing. I'm out.